Researchers around the world are creating personalized models of a patient's individual body parts. This virtual model, about to be trialed in clinics, is the first to replicate the gait of a person. It combines different types of data that doctors have usually had to compare and interpret themselves. This girl's cerebral palsy affects her walk, and she's been wired up to motion sensors and films so her gait can be analyzed. A visualization of the results looks something like this, but it's difficult to interpret since it doesn't display any anatomy. In the virtual model, it can be combined with an animation like this, which is created by analyzing the forces exerted on a person as they walk. X-ray images of a patient's bones and joints can also be incorporated into the complete virtual model. Personalized simulations are also being used to model blood flowing through a brain aneurysm. The computer model helps them understand how quickly blood flows through the vessel and the stress it suffers as a result. Another team is modeling the flow of blood through a person's heart and how it changes as the heart contracts. Models of individual body parts could be integrated to simulate a patient's entire body. So you could one day have a virtual twin that could be used to check how well different treatments might work on you.